Let's now look at the 328 decoder. Again, a 328 decoder has three inputs and eight outputs. And only one of the eight outputs is asserted at any given point of time. So the truth table for that is A, B, C. Those are the inputs. Outputs are Y7, Y6, Y5, Y4, Y3, Y2, Y1, and Y0. Since you have three inputs, you get eight combinations. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So this is basically decimal 0, decimal 1, decimal 2, decimal 3, decimal 4, decimal 5, decimal 6, and decimal 7. So when A, B, C are 0, 0, 0, only line 0 is activated, while the other lines are 0. When A, B, C is 0, 0, 1, only line 1 is activated, the other lines are zeros. Similarly, when A, B, C are 0, 1, 0, line 2 is activated. For 0, 1, 1, line 3 is activated. Line 4, activated. So on line 5, line 6, and line 7. The remaining are going to be 0. So this is how a 3 to 8 decoder works. One thing that I forgot to mention for the 2 to 4 decoder is, uh, like it even applies for any decoder, you can see that only one output is asserted. So this is known as one hot encoding. Since only one out of the eight outputs are asserted, is asserted. Again, the equation for y0 is a prime, b prime, c prime. y1 is a prime, b prime, c, so on. y7 is a, b, c. So this is min term 0, min term 1, min terms 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and finally min term 7. Therefore, using a 3 to 8 decoder, you can generate 8 min terms, 0 through 7. And the block diagram for the 3 to 8 decoder is as follows. So 3 to 8, A, B, C, 3 inputs. This is M0, M1, M2, so on, M7. So this is Y0, Y1, Y2, so on, Y7.